Okay, so in this problem, we're told a flashlight beam strikes the surface of a pane of glass n equals 1.56 at a 63 degree angle to the normal. What is the angle of refraction? So as always, you want to draw what's going on. So essentially, we have this flashlight, and we know it's going to be shining uh, this beam of light. So you can imagine this line uh, is the beam of light. And we know it's 63 degrees to the normal. And so the normal is just this line right here, uh, which is perpendicular to the surface. Uh, and we know it's going to enter this glass pane, right? And it's going to change in the angle as a result of Snell's law, right? It's going to bend a little, which causes uh, this angle to change. And so what we're trying to find is this angle here, which we call the angle of refraction. So uh, what you have is the angle of incidence, which is this angle where it enters, right? The angle to the normal. And the angle to the normal uh, on the bottom is called your angle of refraction. So that's what we're trying to solve for this angle theta, right? And we know it's going to bend, right? The angle is going to change as a result of entering this uh, glass pane, right? So since we're going from one medium to another, by Snell's law, we know it's going to uh, change angle. Uh, and so there's a few things you need to know in order to solve for this. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to know is the index of refraction for these two materials. So we denote this with the variable n. And so it's different for every material. Uh, in this problem, they tell us that it's equal to 1.56 for our glass pane here. Uh, and then you just need to know the value for air is equal to about 1. So your two values are n, uh, 1.56, and then 1. Uh, and so, as I mentioned before, we're going to be using Snell's law to solve for this. Uh, Snell's law is this formula right here, which is n1 sine of theta, or sorry, theta1, equals n2 sine of theta2. So, this is what we're going to be using in order to solve. All right, so Snell's law basically uh, just tells us how it's going to change direction as we go from one medium to another, right? So when light travels, uh, and this formula relates it. So theta one and theta two uh, is your angles here. So theta one is in the beginning. So we'll call it initially is one, uh, and then this would be two. So it goes from one to two, right? One, mit uh, one material to another. So theta one would be your angle of incidence. Theta two would be your angle of refraction. So this is theta two. This right here is your theta one. And then n1 and n2 are just these n values, right? So n1 would be the initial one, uh, and this would be your n2. And so notice we have n1, we have theta one, and we have n2. So to solve for our angle of refraction, uh, theta two, uh, it's just a matter of plugging in and solving. So we have one times the sine of theta. I'm not gonna write the one because one times anything is just that thing. So we have the sine of 63 degrees equals 1.56 times the sine of theta 2. So to solve, you're going to divide both sides by 1.56. Uh, so we have the sine of theta 2 equals the sine of 63 divided by 1.56. Uh, to get rid of the sine here, right? because all we want is the theta, you would just take the arc sine of both sides. So to do that, you just take the arc sine, right? The arc sine on this side would just cancel it. So we have the arc sine of 63, or yeah, or sorry, the sine of 63 uh, divided by 1.56, and then you take the arc sine of that. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So sine of 63 divided by 1.56, and then arc sine that value. So yeah, you're gonna get 34, 0.8 degrees. So I'm just going to round to 35. Uh, just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. Uh, but your angle theta is going to be 35 degrees. So this right here is going to be uh, 35 degrees. So your angle of refraction, 35 degrees. So that's just the angle to the normal. Uh, but yeah, so uh, just basic thing here is just using Snell's law, recognizing uh, your theta value and your n value for each material. And then it's just a matter of solving. So uh, yeah, so this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.